Okay, so how do I make my balance sheet from my books match my balance sheet on my tax return? So the concept behind this is that on your tax return, your balance sheet on your tax return has one line of retained earnings, right? And on your books, you have retained earnings, you have uh, net income, you have all your distribution contributions, your beginning balances. So all of this on your books equals that retain earnings what's listed on your tax return so on your books you're you're ex at s separating those items whereas on your tax return you just have one line because you know you have distributions on different lines so at the end this is the summary of the retain earnings so last year tax return ending balance the ending number should be the beginning balance of retain earnings on your current tax year rewind it if you need that if you need that wording again but those two numbers basically your current balance current year balance sheet on your books retain earning number should match your last year tax return retain earning number on your tax return so these two numbers should match. In this case, they're not matching. They are, but I am overriding it just for this example. So don't look much on the numbers. Just know that these two numbers are not matching. So we need to make an adjustment. And for that, we will. What we will do is we run. We click on our distributions numbers or any any equity account that it, it's a distribution account. We'll click on that and. Not on retain earnings because it will not let you click on retain earnings uh, on your books. You won't be able to do that. So we will open our honest pay and personal expense. And that number, it's this number should be zero. So this is what was carried from last year. And the beginning number should be zero. In this case, it's not zero. That means we did not close our distributions. So distribution should be closed. After you finish your tax returns on your books, you should close it for this year. But in this case, we didn't close it. So we have to make the adjustment at the journal entry. So this could be a zero number. So this is the journal entry. Distributions is an equity account and this is a negative number. So right now it's debiting um, our, our, our account. So we need to, what we need to do is create a journal entry and credit it credit for that number so this will be a zero okay so we will do the beginning the date will be the beginning of the year so one one of the current year and our account our credit account will be distributions or whatever you put your distributions on and then retain earnings will be the other account that we will debit Keep an eye, if this is the negative, we're going to debit that same account. If this is a positive number, then we're gonna debit it and we will credit retain earnings. Okay, our dis description will be to close out our distributions. And this is what, after entering the journal entry, this is what you need to see, that this beginning number is zero. Okay, and then by just doing that, these numbers should match. If the reason why those two numbers are wrong is because you didn't close out distributions. Again, you will click on this number, you will click on equity numbers, all of those do the journal entry, the same journal entry to make the number zero. And after you do all of them, you should match, these two numbers should match. I will have more videos or stay tuned, subscribe, for more videos on how to make your balance sheet retain earnings match your tax return. So when you do your tax return for the current year, your two numbers match and all your number numbers will flow through correctly as they're supposed to. Um, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.